came from China and uh, my hometown is a place where we do enjoy the sunshine for most of the years therefore we have a lot of silicon panels available to uh, generate the electricity make me get interested to see if I can also get involved in this PV industry. I worked in industry and then I, I kind of realized I really liked uh, research high risk, high reward uh, material discovery and we're trying to increase the efficiency of, of our solar panels. While there's some uh, industries now starting to try to commercialize uh, this material and combining it with silicon. Currently I am an engineer working on making our dream of commercializing silicon perovskite PV come true. We have already got like a new work record on commercial size perovskite silicon tandem, about 28.6%. Years back, Udo presented, and at the end, he said, Oh, by the way, we have these 20 positions part of this big center, and uh, that's the first time I, I learned about the excellent science. Within the center, to get to collaborate with different researchers, all my skills uh, gained during my PhD and postdoc benefited a lot for me to get to this new position. Really need to invite them for a very good meal to thank them for that. It was kind of a small family sometimes. I think research groups tend to have that. It allowed you to, to really connect with different um, groups that you would not organically do. Just last year in December, we had finally our, our paper published and it was a kind of a joint uh, paper between the uh, University of Oxford and Monash. At the moment, I'm still quite keen to stay in industry. So many people were applying, kind of can't believe it when I was offered the position. How you live life, I think there's the, the curiosity of it and the excitement of it, but also you're scared of obviously leaving behind family and your friends. Uh, but then you, you create new connections, you discover new places, you, you learn new things. And I think that's, that's really what, why people stay in academia.